Greetings my fellow hiker. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun trail out in West Houston where you can enjoy the outdoors even in the heat. Hi, I'm Breeze, the president of Vaucluse where we love to sweat less and we love to explore more and that's exactly what we did out in Houston. I'm going to be walking you through a fantastic trail that I just ran upon. I was visiting for a few days, some friends and family, and I wanted to go outdoors and I thought, well, is there a place that I can go even in 80 plus weather and just enjoy myself and not be too hot? And this place you're really, really going to enjoy. So I went to the Quail Trail in West Houston, Texas. It is a 11.7 mile out and back trail just west of downtown Houston. And it's generally considered an easy route, but also there is a challenging, you could say, side to it. Not too challenging, but definitely not easy. And it takes an average of three and a half hours to complete the entire trail. So I didn't do the whole trail because I had to get back to somewhere. But this is definitely a popular trail for birding, uh, definitely mountain biking and road biking, but you can still enjoy some so solitude during quieter times of the day. Even in the big city of Houston, you can definitely enjoy being outdoors without being overwhelmed by the sun because there's going to be some great tree cover. And the trail is open year round and is beautiful to visit any time during the year. And the trail, they said on the website, is part of the Terry Hershey Park, which all the links are going to be found below. So you can figure out, well, where is this trail if I ever happen to be in Houston? Now my hike, I'm going to break down into two different parts. One is walking west and the other one is walking east. And uh, I walked west on the, the Quail Trail all the way to North Cook Kirkwood Road. I started out at the parking lot of West Sam Houston Tollway and you follow the north side of a slow moving stream of water called Buffalo Bayou. And the link is going to be right below. There's plenty of tree cover as I mentioned. So you're protected from sunlight. It was, I believe it was about 85 degrees. Still pretty warm, but uh, didn't sweat because of the tree cover. But at the same time, uh, my cool dry frame, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So very peaceful and very easy trail. Paved as well. There are parts of the trail where you can walk on dirt if you want, but it's paved. So you're going to get, you're going to be sharing with walkers, joggers, and bikers. So that was part one. Part two is me just walking back because I had to get back to, uh, to where I was coming from. So this was on the south side of the creek or the, uh, the Buffalo Bayou. It's called Ant Hills Trail. It's a dirt trail for hiking and dirt bikes. This trail is a lot more demanding than Quail Trail, which as I mentioned was on the north side. This is a lot more demanding. There are lots of turns and ups and downs. There's a lot of brush as well. I had to retrace my steps probably a few times. One, definitely I had to backtrack uh, definitely a few steps to find uh, a way out because the brush was overtaken and it seemed like um, there had been a lot of rain and so a lot of things had been washed away. So this trail was much more demanding than the north side. Depending on what you want, you've got the north side which is easy breezy and then the south side is some more ups and downs, a lot of fun. The conditions were sunny and 85 degrees, so quite, quite warm. And that's pretty much the trail, a lot of fun. Now, as I mentioned, I like to stay sweat free and I like to stay cool. And that's what we do at the Vaucluse. And I brought, this is the backpack that I had. It's just a normal day pack for traveling, but I attach the cool dry frame, which is right here, which you can attach on any backpack. And what it does is it just allows some level of separation between you and the backpack. And when you have that separation is that heat that's coming off your back and obviously there's a good portion of your body that's usually you know covered by your backpack. That heat is allowed to dissipate and the sweat is allowed to evaporate. So when you're walking you're gonna your, your core is gonna be a lot cooler because you don't have that back all of that heat that's just staying right there and you get a soaked shirt. You're probably even gonna probably soaking up your backpack as well, eventually it's gonna stink. So this cool dry frame protects your backpack, keeps your core cooler and allows you to enjoy the outdoors a whole lot more. And so I definitely enjoy the outdoors on this trail a whole lot more being at already 85, pretty hot. Obviously there was uh, cover from the trees. Nonetheless, this definitely helped out. So overall, great trip. 
Thank you for your attention and see you on the trails. Bye.